coach for the eighth time. He has one win that game here in 83 for Denmark. Two draws and four defeats. All those four defeats have been by one goal to nil. Gascoigne making his own luck. And maybe making a goal for himself here is Gascoigne! as though he'd lost the ball as he carried the fight right into the heart of the Turkish defence. Well, he loses it there and Turkey will be furious with himself. They're getting a tangle. That's a great bit of attacking the ball from Paulins, but the rest is all about Paul Gascoigne's coolness, composure in finishing. Look at that, look at that tackle there that keeps the ball in the Turkish penalty area. A little drop of the shoulder and he was never going to miss this, was he? His third England goal, he said... ...in a position where he felt he got in too few times against Norway. That's past that 18-yard line, crossing the ball from more important and dangerous areas. Oh, another delightful piece of work from Gascoigne. Raiding through right, Shearer coming in. Coming in now! No more than England deserve. They're in sparkling form here. And the partnership that's had to ask plenty of questions over the past few days is coming up with some answers now. And that's an absolutely brilliant goal. Look at this little flick from Paul Gascoigne and rights away. They're not going to catch him. But look at Shearer at the right of the screen. He's behind the defender there. But watch the way he dives inside near post. He knows where it's going. He's in behind the defender and there's nothing he can do. That's a great goal. Well, England started the calendar year 1992 with a win here against France when Alan Shearer got the headlines then with his first goal for his country. This is the last international of the calendar year and Shearer centre stage again. Great little example that for any strike. Gascoigne producing the skill and artistry and people like Henderson Palmer doing the dog look, if you like. It was feeding time then, wasn't it? They went in with such appetite. Pierce again. And Gascoigne having a look as to whether he might go to the other side, the near side, as we look. Didn't surprise me. And that angle looks not a bad little area for him there. An opportunity for England to go three in front. It's Pierce. the direct route but it's hit the back of the net and that's all that matters for England who had the luxury of leading under Graham Taylor by three goals to nil not quite sure who this is but the one thing it is it's on the way isn't it just comes off a card I think there and that completely fools Iraq and he's got no chance they really can go on now England and enjoy the rest of this game been uh, fingers pointed everywhere at players not scoring for England and even at Pearce because of his club record is so outstanding but England are finding the right mood in front of goal now and they're having a bit of good fortune along the way as well as that goal showed but with the power in the left foot of Pearce it's going to take a lot of stopping and nothing that Turkey could get in the way to prevent the ball flying on and up into the roof of the net Turkey here 
and there's not just delight at the performance, there's all the frustration that's been felt throughout the year, really. Coming out of the systems here with the dancing, the delight, the delirium. It was a brilliant first touch from Walker, it took him clear. But watch this as he pulls it back, a little step over. It is from Shearer, and there's Gascoigne again. Quite brilliant football from England. to play the ball, play into midfield, to use the midfield area, but if they can't...